Yo, what's up, peoples? This will be my quick unboxing for the NBA 2K11 game. As you see, Michael Jordan's on the front cover. Mm, 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 mm. Woo! And you know, with Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls, you know, Michael Jordan and the Bulls, you think red and white colors. So, of course, for the background, I had to go with the red, my brother. But, uh, yeah, so I already did take off the plastic because me unboxing it with one hand will be extremely hard so I didn't open the case yet so here's the front Michael Jordan here's the back become the greatest <laughs> let's open the game the heck is this $15 off for um, a foot locker it's pretty cool Here's the instruction booklet. Here's the game. Here's me taking the game off. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see me through the disc? That's how shiny that disc is. But um, yeah, man, I I I really think this is gonna be the best 2K11. It, this freaking game got a 9.5 on IGN. When a basketball game gets a 9.5, exactly. Nuff said. Like, what basketball game has ever gotten a 9.5? Five. And you know, some comments are like, oh, this game got a 9.5, so you mean to tell me this game is on the level of Uncharted 2 and Killzone 2? First of all, that's a dumb comment because how can you compare a basketball game to an action and adventure game or a first person shooter? They're just saying in the basketball game area is probably the best yet to come. So 9.5 for this game. This game probably has to be the best basketball game yet and um i got one more thing to show you guys do you see that my brothers and sisters or maybe you need to see this do you see that maybe you even need to see this do you see that do you see that do you even see this you know when i played community basketball back when i was younger guess what my jersey number was do you see that my brother do you need to see this or maybe you even need to see this do you even need to see that or maybe you need to see this when they first got their first championship ring do you need to see that no you don't because that game sucks do you need to see this or do you need to see that listen I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've been a Heat fan since probably... I was born in 1991. So I'm going to say when I actually actually started liking basketball and actually watching the Heat play was probably 1997. So I've been a Heat fan back in the Alonzo Morning days, Tim Hardaway days. Uh, who remembers Ronnie Cycli? Back on the Miami Heat. Who remembers that? I've been a Heat fan like that. So, you know, all this bandwagon hopping. Listen, I hate it. I know. I'm, I mean, I know the Heat got this all this All Star squad now, but all these people that's jumping on the bandwagon say, "I'm a Heat fan now." I'm a no. You're not. You're not. You better stay with whatever crap team you had. Like the well, I'm not gonna say the say a team's name because I don't want to diss no one out there, but. You know, when someone tells me if I go online on 2K11 that, you know, oh, you can't pick your favorite team that you've been liking since the 90s. Negro, I could pick whatever team I want. If I want to pick my favorite team that I've been with before any of y'all started to actually pick my team, I'm going to pick the Heat, okay? That's all I'm saying. I got dibs on Heat. Y'all can't stop me.